If a sperm whale used its sonar on a human at close range, it could rupture organs, disorient the brain, leave you bleeding internally, and that without ever touching you. That is not a theory. That is physics. Because the loudest biological weapon on Earth does not belong to a mythical creature or monster from a movie. It belongs to a real animal that lives in the dark. The sperm whale is not impressive because it is big. It is impressive because nearly everything about it breaks the rules biology normally follows. Sound, darkness, pressure, pressure, oxygen, even intelligence. One by one, those rules stop applying when this animal dives. The clicks of a sperm whale reach over 230 decibels, making them the loudest sound ever produced by a living animal. To put that in perspective, a jet engine at takeoff is around 140 decibels. The difference is not linear. Every increase of 10 decibels means sound energy multiplies. At close range, a sperm whale's click is powerful enough to stun prey and violently shake soft tissue. This should not be possible. Producing sound at that intensity should damage the animal making it. Human-made sonar can injure whales, yet the sperm whale does this naturally, thousands of times per dive. The reason lies inside its head. Nearly one-third of the whale's body is taken up by a massive oil-filled structure called the spermaceti organ. This organ acts like a biological lens, focusing sound forward instead of letting it explode in all directions. CT scans and dissections show dense connective tissue around the skull that absorbs shock, protecting the brain while allowing sound to be projected like a cannon. High-speed audio recordings confirm that these, that these clicks are not random. They are short, controlled wide bursts, aimed with precision. The whale is not screaming into the ocean. It is firing carefully aimed pulses of sound over and over in complete darkness. At depths of 1,000 to 3,000 meters, sunlight is gone. That is why this zone is called the twilight zone. Here, even bioluminescence becomes rare and unreliable. Most predators slow down or disappear entirely. The sperm whale does the opposite. Instead of vision, it builds a three-dimensional world using sound. Each click bounces off objects in the water and returns to the whale's jaw, which is packed with fatty tissue that conducts sound directly to the inner ear. From the timing and strength of these echoes, the whale can detect shape, distance, and movement. Squid do not appear as silhouettes. They appear as sound objects, moving in a space the whale maps in real time. Remotely operated vehicle footage shows sperm whales diving straight into pitch black water, clicking continuously as they descend. When a target is detected, the clicks speed up into rapid bursts called buzzes, signaling a strike. The whale never sees its prey. It does not need to. It hunts in a world built entirely out of echoes. A human at 30 meters feels pressure. At 300 meters, lungs collapse. At 3,000 meters, pressure exceeds 300 atmospheres, enough to crush steel structures. Sperm whales routinely dive into this environment and stay there for over an hour. This works because their bodies are designed to fail safely. The lungs collapse on purpose, pushing air away from the bloodstream to prevent nitrogen absorption and decompression sickness. Oxygen-rich blood is redirected to the brain and heart. Muscles are packed with myoglobin, a protein that stores oxygen far more efficiently than human muscle tissue. Heart rates drop from around 60 beats per minute to fewer than 10. Video tag data shows whales gliding for long periods without movement, conserving energy while oxygen levels drop to what would be fatal for any other mammal. 
When they finally surface, they exhale explosively, then dive again minutes later as if nothing happened. If you enjoy watching nature casually ignore safety regulations written for every other mammal, feel free to like and subscribe before Biolog. Most predators avoid prey that can seriously injure them. Wolves do not hunt porcupines. Sharks do not target animals that can fight back. The sperm whale ignores this rule entirely. Across the heads and jaws of adult sperm whales are long, pale scars, perfect circles and parallel lines etched into the skin. These marks match exactly the size and spacing of the suction cups found on giant and colossal squid. Some scars are as wide as a dinner plate. Others run in rows across the face like fingerprints from a creature no one has ever filmed in combat. These scars are unmistakable. These scars are not surface injuries. They are records of violent encounters that happen thousands of meters down in complete darkness. In some whales, the scars overlap layer upon layer, suggesting repeated fights over decades. Scientists have recovered colossal squid hooks and beaks from whale stomachs, but the battles themselves remain unseen. No human camera has followed a sperm whale deep enough, long enough, to watch one of these encounters unfold. All we know is this. The sperm whale hunts animals powerful enough to scar it for life, and it keeps doing it. The sperm whale has the largest brain ever recorded, weighing up to eight or nine kilograms. That is six times heavier than a human brain. Brain size alone does not equal intelligence, but in this case, the size is paired with complexity. MRI scans and post-mortem studies show highly folded brain tissue and expanded regions associated with communication, memory, and social behavior. Sperm whales live in long-term family groups, recognize individuals over decades, and coordinate movement across vast distances. Their intelligence is not about solving puzzles in a lab. It is about surviving in a world with no light, extreme pressure, and prey that fights back. In deep sea footage, sperm whales adjust their clicking patterns depending on depth and prey type, that is not instinct alone, that is decision-making in real time, in an environment where mistakes are fatal. If you listen closely to recordings of sperm whale clicks, something strange emerges. Different groups don't sound the same. Researchers studying sperm whale coders, short rhythmic click patterns, found that families use distinct acoustic signatures. These are not random, they are learned. Calves pick them up from their mothers and relatives. Entire clans share the same patterns while neighboring groups sound different. This is the definition of a dialect. Playback experiments show that whales respond more strongly to familiar coders than to unfamiliar ones. They recognize who belongs and who doesn't using sound alone. In the dark ocean, identity is carried not by appearance, but by rhythm. Sperm whales don't sleep lying down. They don't sleep at the surface. They sleep vertically, floating like silent pillars in the water. Drone footage and tagging studies show groups of whales drifting motionless for short periods, completely still. During this time, they shut down half their brain at once in a state called unihemispheric sleep. One side rests, the other remains alert enough to maintain breathing and posture. This posture makes no sense by normal mammal standards, upright and motionless in deep water with predators nearby. But it works. Groups often sleep together, forming loose clusters and reducing the risk of attack. Even sleep has been reshaped by the deep. Inside the stomachs of sperm whales, researchers have repeatedly found stones, gravel, and dense debris that do not resemble food and cannot be explained as accidents. 
Unlike plastic ingestion, these objects are often smooth, heavy, and deliberately swallowed. In several documented cases, the stones were clustered together, suggesting intentional intake rather than random drift. Why would a whale do this? Scientists aren't fully certain, but leading theories suggest the stones may act as ballast, helping stabilize the whale during deep dives. Others propose they assist with digestion, grinding sharp squid beaks or helping move indigestible material through the gut. Some even suggest a role in parasite control. Whatever the reason, this behavior breaks another rule. Mammals don't eat rocks to function better. Sperm whales do. A single sperm whale doesn't just move through the ocean, it changes it. When sperm whales feed at depth and defecate near the surface, they release iron-rich waste into sunlit waters. This iron fertilizes phytoplankton, microscopic plants that form the base of the marine food web and absorb massive amounts of carbon dioxide. Studies estimate that sperm whales help drive nutrient cycles across entire regions of the ocean. Remove them and plankton growth drops. Fish populations shift. Carbon storage changes. One animal, diving and surfacing again and again, quietly reshapes ecosystems on a scale far larger than itself. That might be the strangest rule break of all. The sperm whale isn't just an extreme predator. It is a walking contradiction. Loud where silence should reign, intelligent where simplicity should dominate, influential where isolation should limit impact. Biology didn't bend its rules for this animal, it snapped them. If learning how one whale keeps breaking nature's terms of service didn't unsettle you at least a little, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want to see what those deep sea battles actually leave behind, watch seven most disturbing things found inside sperm whales.